Static illustrations of a common visual novel make it tough for newcomers to get invested in the genre. It's understandable to take one look at the games and reduce them down to a picture book, even though I find them to be so much more. Luckily, there are visual novels that push the medium to new heights and try new things to ease the world of visual novels onto new players. One of the more interesting ways to keep someone's attention is through animation. So developer Dendo Denkiro has taken that idea and mixed it with the visual novel genre to produce their newest title to come west, Jiangshi Yaoshi Daoshi. If I'm getting that wrong, forgive me, please. <laughs> Jiangshi x Daoshi has two leads. Jiangshi and a Daoshi, simple enough to remember. Don't worry if you don't know what those words mean, because neither did I going into this. In 90% of cases, I typically tend to explain the meaning of a title and how it relates to the narrative. Still, with Jiangshi x Daoshi, I'm not giving you any hints, which might actually end up making the entire experience better. Our story opens with a man running through the woods under attack by a strange plant monster. He trips and falls as he is about to fall victim to his pursuer. However, right in the nick of time, a blade flies through the sky guy slicing it in two. The wielder, of course, is a cute girl named Ling Ling. She's a Taoist priest who has been sleeping for like 500 years and just so happened to be passing through at the right time to save the intrepid yet blase Luan from certain death. In payment, he lets her stay with him and agrees to cook her as many sweets as she desires, which leads her to taking him on as a disciple. Jiangshi x Daoshi has an episodic format as it conveys a tale that is ultimately about the adventures of this unlikely duo and how they get caught up in all manner of ridiculous scenarios. It's not by any means some deep and meaningful adventure either, but that's what makes it so enjoyable. There aren't enough of these stories told in visual novels. You get to witness a journey between some unlikely friends and you don't need much else. However, Jiangshi x Daoshi has a secret weapon that makes it really stand out. Well, it's not really a secret weapon because you'll have seen it by the time you reach the title screen and as I mentioned at the beginning of the review. It's animation! Jiangshi x Daoshi has a visual style that leaves everything else in the dust. The sprites themselves have next to no animation, but the title utilizes all sorts of tools and techniques like animated transitions, moving the sprites themselves, zooming, animated cut-ins, the list goes on. A cost of this is a lot of the background and CG such as stock images, but there's so much flourish applied to them I didn't care in the slightest. The presentation is so good it elevates this title to new heights, and that's without taking into account the soundtrack which is peppered with fantastic beats for vocal and instrumental goodness. There's also the voice acting which adds an exceptional amount of quality to an already impressive product. It just all adds to this whole vibe of experiencing a group of people just having a good time. Jiangshi x Daoshi is well worth your time as it pushes the idea of what a visual novel can be. The animations combined with a simplistic story makes it a perfect entry point for pretty much anyone. It won't leave you questioning your existence or overflowing with slice of life cuteness by the end, but it does provide a group of characters who you can't help but want to hang out with, which is an excellent foundation for any title. In fact, the uh, first two episodes, they're both completely free and a third one is coming west, like, soon. So even you poor college students suffering from crippling debt can pick this one up. I'll be seeing you back here for episode 3 when it comes out. Noisy Pixel is giving this title an 8 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. Noisy Pixel is a group dedicated to bring you guys the best news, reviews, previews, and more. Please stick around and subscribe if you haven't already, and, you know, ring the little bell to stay up to date and look at future content.